What is up guys, it's Baby the Gamer back again. So, we're gonna do something a little different, not too different. So, I wanted to talk to you guys about the Universal's reboot, Universal Monsters reboot called The Dark Universe. Now, as of yet, if you basically want to connect it like this, it's only been two films that were released, but not, only one of them has actually gotten negative reviews. So, with that, it's necessarily just like, I'm not even going to explain that. But anyway, so what you see here is a list of all of the Universal Monsters that are intended to be films. Now, as many of you already knew that The Bride of Frankenstein was supposed to come out in 2019, as you can see, it says TBA. Now, this is due to the fact that they wanted to, they wanted the script to have more time to be slightly edited, but not by much. And following the same month of this announcement, back in July, Angelina Jolie left the project for unknown reasons, but it was later revealed that there was cre there were creative differences amongst her and the director. Next, you got the creature of the Black Lagoon, who we saw the hand of in The Mummy, The Invisible Man, Van Helsing, Wolfman, Frankenstein, Dracula, Phantom of the Opera, and The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Now, many of these films prior to The Bride of Frankenstein are still in development, so there's really nothing known about them. No directors, just screenwriters, story, and that's pretty much it. So, and necessarily I won't say that this is going to be a problem, but I'll get to that in a minute. But what I will say is that I see where the Dark Universe is going, but how they're going about it is entirely different than most people would have expected it to be. And I, I mean, I, I, I myself, I, you know, I grew up with the, uh, you know, the whole, the mummy and Dracula, Van Helsing, you know, I wasn't around with for, you know, The Hunchback of Notre Dame or The Bride of Frankenstein, but I was around for the 2010 movie. But real quick, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this. So it says here in October 2017. This year, Deadline reported that Javier Bardman and Angelina Jolie were still slated to be Frankenstein's monster and his reluctant bride. The same month, Coden stated that Jolie decided to leave the project and is currently interested in Gal Gadot playing the titular character. You see? That's what I'm talking about right there. You know, that right there. That, that right there is an issue for me. Now... A lot of people have spread rumors that Angelina Jolie is incredibly hard to work with and is a diva on and off set, and I kind of believe that. But I don't, I think if Gal Gadot is to in fact play The Bride of Frankenstein, I think this is, I, I really believe she's only going to get that part because of how well she did in, in Wonder Woman. Now, more power to you, of course, because we could use some more, some more female centered films that. You know bring out the actual feminine in feminine films well not feminine but action hero females you know what I mean so this is the this is how I'm gonna tell you explain this to you guys so as of right now the dark universe of monsters are as this you have the invisible man who is going to be played by Johnny Depp although it is not it has not been announced yet who will play dr. Griffin Van Helsing has no actor as of yet. The Wolfman also has no actor. But among its short list include Michael B. Jordan <clears throat> and two unspecified actors. The Bride of Frankenstein currently, as a right, like I said, I know I just read this to you guys. It said, you know, Angelina Jolie, Angelina Jolie's LP, meaning she left Project. So, if anything, we're just gonna say it's it's up in the air for now. And next you have the Frankenstein movie who will be played by Javier Bardem. And then the final two films, we have Quasimodo, aka The Hunchback of Notre Dame, which also has no, act, no actor, writer, or director as of yet. And then finally we have Dracula, which a lot of people are kind of pissed off that Dracula did not have a place in the Dark Universe. Now. I'm going to explain to you guys why exactly Dracula was not included. Because this, this, this is a discussion video, so everybody, you know, we're going to kind of get a little more, more ethical with this. Now, 
the real reason that Dracula Untold was not a part <clears throat> a part of the um, the Dark Universe is a lot is actually a lot of reasons. One of the reasons was is that they expected the movie to actually show to actually get earn more, you know, and for the fact that it it well while it was well received it it only received mixed to mixed critical views, you know. While you have the Mummy, which is kind of the same way, but primarily got negative reviews due to the fact of its low acting quality. And for an actor like Tom Cruise to, you know, go down that road, you know, be in a horror movie, sort of, but then turn around and, you know, half-ass it, I felt like that was disrespectful, even to me. Like, I felt like that was disrespectful. But, I'm going to explain it to you guys like this. Back in 2014, producer Elisa Phillips had spoke at the UK premiere of the film and said that there might be a sequel to the film. Now, speed ahead a month in November, box office JoJo had said that based on the earnings and the domestic earnings, I mean the domestic earnings and the foreign earnings of that date, the film is likely on edge enough of on edge now mind you on edge of earning enough to start a modest franchise you know now skip ahead two years and two years and some months into September now September 2k16 <clears throat> director told LRM online that they have been in, in talks with conversations to include Dracula in the dark universe however Alex Kirkman the director of The Mummy, which just came out in June, mind you, has denied these claims saying that the film is non-canon to the Dark Universe. So, now, like I said, just like Box Office, Mojo has said, given its earnings in both the domestic and the foreign marketing, now mind you, this is how most films get their, this is how every film gets a sequel. They do a final count in how much they earn in both internationally and in their homes, in their hometowns. So Dracula didn't sell that much, mind you. I think, I'm trying to remember, I think Dracula sold about a hundred million, maybe. Okay. No, no, okay, now I remember. So basically, Dracula had a budget of seven million. Seven, 70 million, I'm sorry. And had a, had, had a box office hit of 217.1 million. So, eh. You know, while it was received, it had mixed critical, mixed critical reviews with praise of Luke Evans' performance in the story and criticism of the characterization. See, that right there is a the much bigger problem than most people seem to understand. That when you're trying to bring characters that have not been touched on for decades now, such as the creature of the Black Lagoon or the Hunchback of Notre Dame, you know, it's going. It's incredibly difficult to try and modernize, modernize characters that you would not normally see at this day and age. Strictly because, like, we're we're in a generation where individuals have plenty of, you know, plenty of things they want, they like to see about movies. Now, primarily, it's just action, action movies and horror movies, mind you, or mar or comic book based movies. So, you know, seeing characters be Mischaracterized, mischaracterized by adding what what they would classify as humanization in a situation like I, I feel like like it, it kind of plays out if you watch the end of, of The Mummy I'm not going to speak on the spoiler on that one if you haven't seen it go watch that shit that's on DVD by the way but I felt like just watching the DVD of The Mummy showcase that there was an a slight amount of humanization between Tom Cruise's character and the mummy. So, and from my perspective, if this is how the Dark Universe is going to go, they have at least several monster projects in development. They have not confirmed a director or writer or even <clears throat> or even a firm or even a firm timeline of which of which monsters are coming next. So I feel like 
they, um, them not getting this together is exactly why I believe that the Dark Universe is in danger. Because the first film that's in the franchise, it didn't do well. It did well, sort of, when it comes to box office, but it overall did not do well because it received mostly negative reviews. But see, it would have been a lot easier if they had just added Dracula Untold because a lot of people enjoy Dracula. A lot of people enjoyed The Mummy too, but maybe I'm just being biased. So tell me what you guys think. You think the Dark Universe is slowly but steadily shrinking or... Is it, or is there more possibility? I would love to hear what my fans think. Feel free to subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys another time.